It's a crushing humiliation for the government in Athens, which has paid a high political price to get this far, passing further austerity measures worth $5 billion last week. It now needs a debt deal that will stabilize the economy and attract international investors. Debt rescheduling is about how much tax revenue Greece siphons off to repay its creditors overseas. It's been set at 3.5% of the economy for the foreseeable future. But the IMF doesn't think Greece can stand such a rate of repayment for long and recommends something closer to 1.5%, allowing more of the national wealth to remain at home. That would mean lower taxes for people like Kostas Garifalu, who runs a restaurant. I think it'll make a huge difference uh, for the country. It's all about stability. Um, so I think uh, the message passed through the debt uh, being lowered, uh, being restructured and so forth is that you'll have the idea that uh, you're now becoming a stable country whether it's for business or the, whether it's for investment. Debt rescheduling is one of the few things Greece's divided political forces agree on. The Eurogroup first committed to it in 2012, when Conservatives were in power here, and Syriza made it the main focus of its disastrous negotiation two years ago. But among Greece's Eurozone partners, it is politically divisive. The trouble is that the longer Greece is given to repay, the less that money is worth to its fellow Eurozone countries, some of which are poorer than Greece. But the IMF has decided that Greece's repayment schedule has to be generous, extending almost to the end of the century because previous attempts to restructure the debt fell short. So ultimately, Greece's debt deal now lies on a battlefield between the IMF and the debt hawks in the Eurozone. John Psaropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.